it's happened again. Another Democrat has killed a Republican in cold blood and nobody's talking about it. And amen, amen. and boom shakalaka. Can you give the Lord some praise in here today? You know, ever since Donald Trump came down the elevator, it's been open season on conservative. It's been open season on uh, uh, anybody who's wearing a red cap that says make America great again. And it's just continued to escalate. But doing, throughout all that time, what we get from the left is that it's the right. It's conservatives that are extremists. It's the conservatives that are violent. And not, nothing could be further from the truth. It's getting to be annoying watching the left continue to try to shape the narrative that it's Republicans that are the ones that are violent, that your life is in danger because of white supremacy, because your life is in danger because of conservative extremists. Nothing could be further from the truth. As a matter of fact, the very thing that they are accusing us of is what they're doing. And there's just been a long history of it. We could talk about from the election of Donald Trump, people wearing the red Make America Great Again hat getting beat up in the streets. We could talk about the young man that was kidnapped by a bunch of Americans from African descent and tortured because he was a Trump supporter. We can talk about uh, the, the young men who were in the, uh, the diner that had their hat ripped off of them or uh, Nick Sandman over in Washington, D.C., who was accused of attacking a Native American when actually it was vice versa. We could talk about the Bernie Sanders supporter who was watching Rachel Maddow all the time, MSNBC, and got so riled up, he went up and he shot a bunch of Republicans on the baseball field. It's the left that is committing the violence against the right. And yet we have Dark Brandon up there with his Mussolini speech talking about we have to take care of the, the white supremacy. It's, it's a joke. Last week, we got a report out that the FBI is manufacturing. They've been told to manufacture uh, 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 incidences, cases of white supremacy, because the administration says that's what they have to go after. But they're saying that there's that they can't find any. It doesn't exist. But if you want to find the opposite, if you want to find deranged lefties going after Republicans, going after uh, uh, Trump supporters, well, you you can find it everywhere. And the latest example is a man who ran over a kid. A 41-year-old man ran over a 20-something-year-old over a, a, a Republican, or I should say, a political argument. The kid was a Republican. He was a Democrat. He was a lefty. They got into some type of verbal confrontation, and next thing you know, this dude's running over the kid. He's out on bail. The first thing he does is he goes and he scrubs up his social media so that you can't tell that he's a rabid lefty. This is the world we're living in. This is the political violence that is being is being just uh, unleashed on the right. And it's nothing new. This is the modus operandi for the Democrat Party. They've been doing it since their inception. They've been doing it throughout the Civil War. They were doing it afterwards in the form of lynchings and the Ku Klux Klan. They were doing it in the form of separate but equal. They're violent. They're doing it in the form of Antifa. They're doing it in the form of Black Lives Matter. And now you have deranged individuals going around killing people because of their political ideology. They're go you have Democrats going around threatening and killing Republicans, conservatives, because of their political ideology. And the media and the Democrat Party and the Biden administration are complicit in it. This is dangerous stuff. And it's going to lead to open conflict because you can only push this thing so far b before people understand that, oh, you know what? You know what? We're not living in a peaceful country. Uh, you know what? We don't have the First Amendment rights. And because we don't have our First Amendment rights, we're going to have to depend on our Second Amendment rights, why we still have them. And they'll never be able to take that away because that's when you will really have open conflict. But that's where we are. Nobody's talking about this. You got George Floyd. We had two years of George Floyd. We had cities burned down in peaceful protests over George Floyd. But here you have an American of European descent being killed by another American U European descent. So it's not racial. No, it's political. But when you re really get down to it, it's all political.
My name is James C. Harris. This is my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe to it. Every time you put up a new video, you will get notified. Until we meet again, hey, let's go. It's time for you to protect yourself. And I'm not calling for violence, but we do have a constitutional right and a God-given right to defend ourselves. And that's, a, what, that's exactly what we're going to have to do.